Darrell Smith here, and today I'm taking you back, way back, where we made ramen noodles and hot dogs. So back in college, I would eat these separately, but today we're gonna combine them and make a bun out of this bad boy and fry this in some brown sugar. We got a little boiling water. In college, three to our dorm, we didn't have much money, so this was like all we ate, along with hot dogs. So we're gonna actually cook these just until they're al dente because we're actually gonna fry these up later to make our buns. We drained our ramen, so we're actually gonna add this to a bowl and open up one of our seasoning packets. Here we go. Half, that's good. You only need half of the seasoning packet because we don't wanna overpower the hot dog flavor. And you wanna do this while it's still warm so that you can incorporate it throughout the noodles. I'm gonna just let this cool down a bit and then we're gonna mix in our egg to bind this thing together and create our bun. Imagine if I had hair. <laughs> I'm gonna add one beaten egg. And the reason we want this to be room temperature is because we don't wanna scramble the eggs. If you add it while it's hot, you're pretty mad at yourself. So you want every single noodle to get some of that egg. Put this to the side, we use two packets because we wanna make two buns, all right? Divide your ramen noodles in half. So say about, if you're using a golden fork, one forkful, cool? Boom. Shape your ramen into a nice rectangle. And you can also use your dog, measure the size of it. Make sure it fits. Massage it. Don't stop. You wanna fold these two up. And the cool thing about being on Earth is that we got something called gravity, which will help you form this bad boy into a bunch. We're just gonna let gravity do its work. And fold this over, right? and roll these sides up, just like that. These have been in the fridge firming up for about 20 minutes. There we go, just like that. If you see this, it's, it's pliable, but yet it's still firm, like you can move it. So what we're gonna do is actually just slit this right down the middle, just like a hot dog bun. Right down there, right in the middle. You're good. We got our oil over here, 350 degrees. We wanna fry this on all sides. Make sure you move it around at first so it doesn't stick to the bottom of the pan, all right? And just let it sit. Let it sit, crisp up on each side. We want it nice and golden brown. Butter into your pan. Swirl that around, brown sugar. You wanna create a caramel on the bottom. Knife and slit this right down the middle. Butter on it and all. I split my hot dogs because I want more surface area. Like psychologically, it just makes sense. Like it feels like I'm getting more hot dog for my buck. So why not? And also, major key. When you split these, you don't want to go all the way through. You won't want four hot dogs, you want two. Lay it on top of your brown sugar. Just let that caramelize. Push it down. Ooh, this is bringing back good memories. There we go, just like that. So you want these burnt, almost. Almost like from the grill. Those are always the best for hot dogs. People toss those bad boys, I go pick them up. I'm gonna pull these off and just show you how I assemble these. Dog. So a lot of people might wanna eat these just as is, but that's not an option. Bam. Mustard, right there, boom. There we go. This ain't your ordinary dog and this ain't your ordinary bun. Mm. Crunchy, sweet, savory. And most importantly, cheap. Damn, that was good. Just like God.